Well, here we are on page number 80. And the name of this story is The Great Rabbit Race. Seems to me I remember this one, too, and that it was kind of a favorite. But we'll see as we read along here, and here we go. One morning, Br'er Rabbit was going lipperty-clipperty down the road, and he was feeling gay and mighty sassy. He pranced and he danced, and he winked at the daisies growing in the fields, and he bowed to the tall, handsome trees and say howdy to their crickets and the bees. And by and by he feels so gay to have to turn a somersault. Just then, along come Br'er Terrapin. Hey, oh, Br'er Rabbit, what in the world is the matter with you? Capering around like this right in the middle of the road. There ain't nothing matter with me, sing out Br'er Rabbit. I feel fine. Why shouldn't I feel fine? I'm the smartest creature on this earth. Br'er Terrapin nod his head. That you is, Br'er Rabbit. I'm the smartest, and I'm the fastest, too. Now Br'er Rabbit have to turn another somersault, and another, and another. And Br'er Terrapin watch him for a minute, and then he think to himself, I like this rabbit. We always been good friends. But now he's getting too stuck up, bragging that he's the smartest, and the fastest, too. That ain't good. No, that ain't good. I got to do something about that. So Br'er Terrapin did. Soon as Br'er Rabbit stopped turning somersaults, Br'er Terrapin up and say, What you mean, bragging you're the fastest creature on this earth? And Br'er Rabbit jumped up. That ain't bragging. Of course I'm the fastest. Who says I ain't? Who says so? Br'er Terrapin grinned round the corners of his mouth. I say you ain't the fastest. I is. You? You the fastest? Bear Rabbit burst out laughing. With those fat short legs? With that thick shell? Why, you can't run. You can't scarcely even crawl. Is that so? Bear Terrapin sort of snickered. Well, you can skip along pretty fast for a short ways. Then when it comes to a long ways, I'm the one that'll get there fastest every time. Well, they went on arguing like this for quite a while. Then Bear Terrapin say he got a bag of gold buried under a rock down at the bottom of the pond. And that Bear Rabbit can have it if he can beat him in a race. Now Bear Rabbit say he got a bag of gold hidden in his chimbley, and Bear Terrapin can have that if he can beat him. So it was agreed that the race would be three miles, and that they'd ask Bear Turkey Buzzard to be the judge. Well, Bear Buzzard, he laughed and sort of fuzzle up his feathers when they told him about the race, because he's sure that Bear Rabbit was a going to win. Howsomever, he agreed to be their judge, and they gave him the two bags of gold to hold for the winner. First, Br'er Buzzard measured off the ground where the race was to be run. He marked off a starting line and a finishing line, and at the end of every mile, he stuck up a post. Then he explained the rules. You have to start at the starting line, and at the end of each mile, you have to touch one of these posts. Then you have to finish at the finishing line. These is the rules, and you can run wheresoever you like, on the road in the sunshine, or through the woods in the shade. I'll take the road in the sunshine, said Bear Rabbit. I'll take the woods in the shade said Bear Terrapin. Bear Buzzard say the race could be next Tuesday, and he invited all the creatures to come. Bear Rabbit, he can't scarcely wait. All day, every day, he just sat and watched the clock, a clocking on the mantel, waiting for Tuesday to come. Now as for old Bear Terrapin, 
he just lay low on the bottom of the pond with Mrs. Terrapin and their two chillins whispering and a cooking up a plan for how to win. Then, at last, that Tuesday come, and early in the morning, soon as the sun come out of hiding, Br'er Terrapin and his family crawl out from the pond and shuffle off to their woods. And pretty soon the other creatures begin to arrive. Br'er Fox, Br'er Wolf, Br'er Bear, Br'er Coon, Sis Possum, Sis Cow. They all arrive chuckling and a -gig giggling amongst themselves because they think the race is sort of silly, being as how Br'er Rabbit's bound to win. Howsomever, they take their places along the finishing line. Then Br'er Buzzard come flopping along, swinging the two bags of gold. Now up pranced Br'er Rabbit, all dressed up fit to kill, with a red satin bow tied round his neck and a green one round each of his ears. Br'er Buzzard hop up to the starting line and pull out his watch. Gentlemen, is you ready? Ready, said Br'er Rabbit, stepping on the line. Ready, said a voice from the woods, and Terrapin step up to the line. Now it just so happened that all the Terrapin family was the very spitting image of Br'er Terrapin, so neither Br'er Buzzard nor Br'er Rabbit took notice that was Mrs. Terrapin and not Br'er Terrapin that stepped up to the starting line. On your mark, shout Br'er Buzzard, get set. Go. Well, Br'er Rabbit, he race off down the road. Mrs. Terrapin, she scramble off into the woods. And Br'er Rabbit, he runs fast as he can. But just as he gets brrrring, just as he gets almost to their first mile, what does he see but a Terrapin crawling out of the woods and touch it first? Well, Br'er Rabbit frowned. How'd he get here first, he hollered. Easy, the Terrapin answered, and back he crawled into the woods. Of course, Br'er Rabbit don't know this is one of the Terrapin's chillin. Naturally, he think it's Br'er Terrapin himself. Well, Br'er Rabbit, he gallop on. The dust fly high, but just as he gets Almost to the second mile post, again, he see the terrapin crawl out of the woods and touch it first. A Br'er Rabbit's mad. Taint possibly then. I'm the first fastest creature on this earth. You was the fastest creature, the terrapin answered, and off he scattled to the woods. Now, of course, Bear Rabbit don't know that this is just the second of the Terrapin children. Naturally, he think it's Br'er Terrapin himself. But Br'er Rabbit rush on. This was the last mile, and he just tear up that road like the dogs was after him. But it don't do no good. Just as he come puffing up to the finish line, Br'er Terrapin himself come ambling out of the woods and cross that finish line first. Br'er Terrapin's the winner, yell all the creatures. He is. Br'er Terrapin is the winner, yell Br'er Buzzard, and he hand him the two bags of gold. Hooray for Br'er Terrapin. The creatures wave their paws and they stomp and thump the ground with their tails. Then they look at Br'er Rabbit, hopping and a puffin, and kivered with dust, and they laugh. And Br'er Rabbit, he pulled the red bow off his neck, and the green bows off his ears, and he looked sort of solemn. Then he go home to Mrs. Rabbit, and all that night, 
They just sat in their chairs by the fire, drinking sassafras tea, puzzling and puzzling about ter Br'er Terrapin being the winner. Powerful puzzled they was, because of course they both know that there ain't no faster creatures on this earth than Br'er Rabbit. And there you see the picture of old Br'er Rabbit soaking his tired feet in a nice warm pan of water and trying to figure out what in the world happened to him. Now isn't that a good story? That's the first time old Br'er Rabbit's been outsmarted, isn't it? And he got outsmarted by his very best friend, Br'er Terrapin. But just think about why he got outsmarted. He got outsmarted because he got to thinking he was so good and so much better than anybody else and boasting about it, didn't he? And he got his come up and so were that. So that's the way it is. I think that's another one of my favorite stories.